Hi hey everybody. Uh, hey, today we're going to go ahead and work on mixtures and how to separate mixtures. Okay, so for this one here, I, what I have is I have three petri dishes set up. This first one here has gravel. The second one has flour. Now the lab that we're doing says use diatomaceous earth. Um, since we're not in the classroom and I really didn't have any diatomaceous earth, we're going to use flour and regular kosher salt. Okay, so first I want you guys to get a good look of the particle size, uh, the texture, how this looks. Like I said, it's just plain gravel. Okay, just gravel. It's almost like um, fish aquarium gravel. Okay, so there's our gravel. Everybody has seen and has touched and played around with flour before. So that's just your, your typical baking flour. And this here is just salt. Okay. So what I did, I measured them out the same. I used um, a five mil spoon and I have five mils worth of uh, the gravel, the flour, and the salt. Now I know the mills should be uh, dealing with liquids, but I had a five mil spoon here, so that's what I used. Okay, so again, look at them. Gravel, flour, and salt. Okay, here I have three glasses, each one filled with uh, 50 mils of water. Okay, just plain water, I'm not doing anything special, just 50 mils of water, you can see that they're pretty much the same uh, level. Okay, but what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to make a mixture with the gravel in the water, um, flour in the water, and the salt in the water. And then we're gonna look at it and everything else and see if we can find a way to separate them back out, okay? So here's the gravel. I'm gonna just pour the gravel into the cup. I'm gonna take the flour, pour the flour into the cup. Sorry, my hands are the way there. Yeah, let me do it that way, there we go. And last one, I wanna take the salt and dump the salt in the last glass, okay? Um, what I'm going to do now is try to get it so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to try to stir these up. So this is the gravel. That's the gravel in the water. And if you look, you can see how it really didn't do anything. It didn't dissolve. It didn't really go into solution or anything else. It's just kind of like laying there on the bottom. Okay. Next, let's see what happens when we mix flour in the water. Okay, here's the flour in the water. Trying not to make too much noise by stirring this, but. Okay, there's a flour in the water. And last would be the salt in the water. So, looking again, we look at this one here, we see the water, we see the gravel. This one here was our flour, and if you look at the very bottom here, you can kind of see it's separating out a little bit. So we have flour and water, and this one here is our salt and water. Okay, I was hoping this would all dissolve in here. Looks like it's not really dissolving that well. Um, quick question for you though. How do you think, or what do you think we could do to this water to make it dissolve more salt? Uh, we'll talk about that in a later lab, but just something to think about. If uh, we're, we're putting in so much salt here and it's, uh, some of it's dissolving, some of it's not dissolving, there's actually something you can do to it to make the water hold more salt. But like I said, we'll talk about that later. Okay, I, I actually think it's all dissolved now. Okay, so there's our salt and water. Flour and water, and look, you can even see more of the flour settling out, and then the gravel and the water. Okay, so now we need to talk about separating all these mixtures. Okay, this one here, the gravel and the water, should be somewhat easy, but what we're going to do is we have um, a beaker here, so I can pour everything into, and I have a funnel. This is just a fancy funnel to help me hold it and everything else. And I also have what's called a sieve, okay? It's just kind of like a wire mesh screen 
and I'm going to put that over top of the beaker. Okay, I'm going to take our gravel and water mixture. I'm going to pour that through. Okay, hope I don't drop any. Okay, a little bit got stuck inside the glass still. But basically, if you look, what happened here? We have all the gravel stay on the top of the screen. And down below, we have water. So we're able to separate out this mixture by using a screen. Okay. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take the stones, just turn it over here. I'm going to add the stones back to our cup. Okay. It's hard to do this with one hand. I can get all the stones in there. But now I'm going to go ahead and add the water back. Okay. So there are... There's our stone and water mixture again. This time I'm going to do though, I'm gonna use the, the filter, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna use the funnel. But this time instead of using the screen, I'm gonna use a paper filter. Uh, the paper filter we're gonna use is just a typical coffee filter. Okay, and how you do this, um, for everybody who is going to be um, taking more chemistry level classes later on, if you take a normal round filter and if you fold it in half, then you fold it in half again, Again, trying to do this one hand doesn't really work that well. But you make this triangle, and then if you pull three to one side and one to the other side, you make a, an actual funnel shape, okay? So now we have the funnel put in there, the paper, I'm sorry, the paper filter put in the funnel. I'm going to take our gravel, and I'm gonna pour this through too, okay? So if you look, The actual coffee filter is not allowing any of the gravel to pass through, but you are getting the water out again. Okay. So if we were in the lab and everything else in the classroom, we would have more time to do this, but I'm trying to keep this video somewhat short. And if you look down inside, you can see where the paper filter stopped the gravel from going through. Okay. So that was one of them. The next one I want to show you or talk to you guys about is the flour. Okay. Again, we put the funnel back on. We put the screen back on top. We take our mixture here of flour and, I'm sorry, flour and water. Okay, I'm going to kind of swirl it around a little bit. And then from this, we're going to pass this through the screen. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do you think the screen prevented the flower from going through? Or do you think the flower passed through along with the water through the screen? Okay, so I want you to think about that. Okay, did the screen stop the flower from going through? Okay, you can see it's a little bit wet still, but think about that one, okay? We're gonna try the paper filter for this one. I'm gonna take that same mixture, pour it back in the glass. I'm gonna use the funnel again and another coffee filter. So now I have the coffee filter put back on. I have our water with flour, kind of get that little swirl again. And I'm gonna pour that into the paper funnel, paper filter in the funnel, okay? This is going to take a little bit longer to pass through and everything else, but you can see water's coming out. If I had a clean beaker, which is what I should have done, I should have had them rinsed out or at least had more, but um, I did not bring all my lab equipment home from school. So we're going to just try to make the best of this, okay? Um, 
I'm not gonna have the full time to allow this to run through. So what I'm going to do, because I need to use the funnel stand again. So I'm going to just take this and carefully, without spilling it, here, we'll do this. We'll move the whole part back over to the cup. Okay, so I just moved it over to, to the cup. Um, this one here actually had the gravel in it. But I wanna show you the filter when we're done with it. But until it drains all the way out, I can't really show you. Okay, so the last thing I wanna show you though, I'm gonna pour off that, um, that dirty water. This is the one that had the flour in the water. So I'm gonna just pour that back into the glass. Okay, and like I said, if we were in the lab, this definitely would have been taking uh, more care of proper techniques and everything else, but I'm just kind of here uh, working through this. So um, next what I wanna do, I'm not using the funnel this time only because the funnel's still holding the filter paper here, but I'm gonna use the screen and and our salt water. Okay, it's our screen with our salt water. And if I pour that through, what do you think happened? You think that the um, screen stopped the salt? Of course not, it went all right through, okay? Let me pour that back into the glass. And for the last one, I'm gonna use the filter paper. And this time I'm gonna just try to hold it because we're still letting the other one drain through. Sorry, I'm trying to use both hands there. Okay. And I'm gonna carefully pour this in with one hand. Okay. And what should come out of there should be fresh water again. Okay. Now, the one thing that I wanna show you though is with the salt water, what we just now did, when you are all done with it and all the water drains out and stuff like that, which I'm gonna kind of speed this up a little bit, and you open it up, you should not see anything in the bottom of the paper. There shouldn't be any salt in the bottom of the paper, okay? The paper or the salt was dissolved inside the water, okay? Now, let me show you what happens with the, the one with flour. Now, even though the flour was in there and we're using this, if I open this one up, sorry, I got my hands on the way, but you can see all of the flour. Let me just do it over here, sorry. You'll be able to see all the flour still inside the filter paper. Okay, so listen, we went ahead and did a couple experiments here. Um, Gravel dissolve or gravel mixed with water, passed through a screen and also passed through a paper filter. I want you guys to tell me what happened. We also did flour mixed with water, passed through both a screen and paper filter. Tell me what happened there. And also with the salt water passing through a screen and a filter. I want you to tell me what happened there. I might have a couple worksheets uh, uploaded to our assignment section, and you guys will have until Friday to get those done. Okay, if you have any questions, chat with me or send me an email. All right, thanks guys. Bye.